In this video, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to transfer any pattering or lettering. Pattering? Pattering. <laughs> In this video, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to transfer any pattern or lettering onto your cakes. I have my turntable that I'm setting my cake on. I just took it out of the fridge, so the icing is solid. I'm not going to mess it up. I measured the height of my cake, and then I printed that out the size I needed to be. I have my dressing tool. I'm going to use that flatter end. I'm not setting it at the bottom because I'm putting a border around the bottom of the cake. Make sure it's even. And then I want to use that... Uh, curved part of the Dresden tool, not the point, just the curved end to trace this onto the cake. And you can use push pins or something to hold it into place. I just find that I could just hold it with my hands. And peel it back and you can see the pattern transferred on the cake beautiful now I have an icing bag with the tip number four I'm gonna rest my elbow on the table and support my writing hand with my other hand I have a paper towel that I can keep wiping off the tip as the icing starts to stick to it and ugh, I hate writing on cakes <laughs> I get so shaky so I hold my breath and pray that it works out <laughs> but just use your other hand to support your writing hand and it does help prevent it to be from being so shaky and look, I'm using my tool to kind of pull it into the correct place because it's just a little challenging to write on cakes like this. At least for me, it is. Um, and then I'm starting at intersections and then I'm just continuing the lines. That one is really bumpy. <laughs> so I will fix that later. But I just like to do it in little spurts, not one long continuous line. I just find it a little easier to do it that way. And now I want to take my water with a little paintbrush. Wait paintbrush with a little water <laughs> and I am just fixing this so I'm dipping the paintbrush in the water and I am just pushing down the points I'm moving the the lines so they are in the correct position so you could see like as I was doing it they weren't perfect they were a little bumpy a little jagged like especially this one it kind of see how I'm pushing it up and it's just making the line look smoother and I'm taking that excess icing and pushing it back down so I just keep dipping it in the water and fixing that and look how pretty so there you go how easy was that a few things that I just want to let you know when you do this technique number one I refrigerate all of my cakes so the icing as you saw the icing is solid when I do this and I'm not going to mess up the cake if you don't refrigerate your cakes you may have to do a different pattern transfer method and I do have a couple different videos showing you how to do it and I will link that in the description and number two since you do refrigerate these cakes you have to work quickly especially if it's hot and humid you do not want your cakes to start to form condensation on it while you are tracing the pattern and I've done this technique quite a few times I have other videos where I show the technique and it is a super easy and effective way to transfer any pattern or lettering onto your cake. So I show in these videos how I do it with patterns. But if you wanted to write out happy birthday or anything, if you want to put a name on there, you just want to print out what you want on the cake, the size that you want it to be. So measure where you want to write on the cake and make sure you print it out the correct size and you can easily transfer anything onto the cakes. So I think that's it. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them below. And you can keep in touch on socials and check out my website. It's listed in the description below as well. And if you want to stick around, you can watch this video next. And hit subscribe and the bell if you haven't already. Please like this video if you liked it. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, it's cake. Have fun. I will see you on the next one. Bye.